Good day, fellow haunters. This is Jared O'Lantern with another uh, haunt build video for you today. Um, so, you know, what a difference a day makes here. Um, if you watched my video that I uploaded yesterday, uh, part two, um, I rightfully called it uh, chaos because that's exactly what it was. Um, I couldn't even walk across a room and now you can see it's pretty... Uh, pretty maneuverable now at this point um, and this room I would say is about um, say 85% done uh, a few more things to uh, set up um, in terms of props that just need to be you know assembled and um, some things that need to be affixed to the wall but I just kinda wanted to give you it's another quick glance at the layout um, nothing's really changed on this side still as I said before, uh, the skeleton cameos are going to be the first thing people see to their left, and then the haunted Asher to their right. Um, the only addition to kind of like the entrance is going to be the uh, remote-controlled suitcase monster. And uh, hopefully by the end of today, I'm going to have the... Um, I originally had uh, put some LED lights in there for eyes, uh, but I since have um, put the eyes in a different prop and actually bought some like actual like um, eyeball uh, LEDs with the uh, pupil and everything. And so that's going to go in there. And um, so I'm trying to keep everything like uh, at eye, you know, level for both kids and adults. Um, so something like this is definitely going to be more you know, visually uh, entertaining for kids because they're going to be kind of like lower to actually see the eyes in the suitcase. Uh, but of course, adults that are, you know, taller, they're still going to get, you know, a little bit of a jump scare as well. Um, this has not been changed. I kind of like the way this looked. This was just kind of like the skeleton skull collection up here. I don't know if I showed this yesterday. This is just one of that... Um, plastic sheeting and I was I have this I said this is all the stuff that I still have to put up um but this is just the those scene setters it was plastic sheeting and it looks like a uh, a uh, fireplace and if you get like a uh, some sort of light behind it it looks really cool um my only concern is as you can see above the uh string right here it's really close to this so it's not really going to be something that people can, you know, stand back and appreciate. So hopefully they get the effect because they're going to be um, kind of, it's kind of a cramped, you know, walkway here. Um, after all, it is a maze. It's not really like a museum or anything. Um, but so, yeah, that's that. This is still like a work in progress. Uh, this is just like an area that I use all the time. So it hasn't been uh, fully decorated and a power drill. <laughs> A power drill is not part of the uh, the decoration, I promise. Um, untimely death. I showed this before. She's going to go in that corner. Um, the uh, candles, really hard to see in this light. They're going to go in that corner. Uh, there is the lantern up there. Hovering ghost there. And then Reaper of Souls is going to be the last thing they see in this row and then they're going to turn into this next hall and this is kind of just like a uh just a collection of static props and um we have the posable skeleton there he's probably going to change position um the goblin that i made he's back there he's probably going to be hanging um that's a standing ghost girl from oriental trading and then right here in this little spot, I have like a, everything right here, including the chair, is set up on a bench. And I'm hoping to have a an actor sitting right here in front of the ghost girl. And I actually have like a pretty cool, kind of like a classic ghost costume. And I'm hoping to have a, an actor sitting on the ledge there, uh, looking like a static prop as well, but then standing up at the last second. So uh, looking at the top here, this is actually a, if you watched my 99 cent only store haul, uh, this is one of those door coverings. 
and it's just a bunch of like cool ghost faces. So I just affixed that to the ceiling. And then what I want to do is get a couple, um, at Rite Aid, they sell these, um, small, uh, battery operated, um, strobe lights. And I was going to stick them in there and see what the effect looks like. And I thought in a really dark room, that would look pretty cool. So then they're going to walk down here. Um, they're going to see her who I think. She, you know, I think that they're really going to get, like, a cool startle from her. I mean, it is just, you know, a cardboard stand-up, but it looks pretty realistic. And, again, with proper lighting, um, I think it would be pretty awesome. So, and there's going to be a wall right here behind her. So, she's going to look like she's standing in front of the wall. And then, so, to kind of add to the effect of her being realistic, I kind of have layered uh, obje objects. Um to kind of uh, enhance the, kind of like the depth perception of it, of it here. So we have her, and then I put this lantern, which is actually has a LED pillar candle in there. Looks really cool when it's lit up. Um, and then the next, you know, set of objects, of course, is the mantle piece here. Um, I do believe my lunging reaper is going to go right here. And so I'm probably going to put a step pad a few feet in front of him. And then so they'll set him off. So they'll be equally startled by her and then by him. And then by that time, it's time for them to make their turn. So that is basically the end of the haunted house portion. And then the next set of, uh, of props and decoration and just a theme is going to be the uh, Hall of Witches. I'm actually going to set up the Witch of Stolen Souls on the couch, which sounds kind of strange, but I really started uh, losing room, so I really needed to use as much space as I could. So I'm going to remove the cushions and put a, a piece of wood there so she's stabilized on a flat surface, and it's also going to give her some height. So as soon as I make this turn, she's going to be there, and then there's going to be probably something else over here. But I have my uh, Morbid Enterprises. I love this picture. And it's probably not going to have the same effect. Let me see if I can turn the flash off. But um, the eyes in the picture, they're sunken in. So like when you move past it, it looks like they're following you. I don't know if you can really see that. Let me try to gain close up. So there's their eyes. And then when you move past, it looks like they're following you. So it's a, it's a cool little effect. Um... His wings and his head move. And like I said, uh, Witches Soul and Souls will be here. Turn around here. They'll walk through here. You're going to see... I'm watching the monsters right now. It kind of gives me inspiration. But uh, that's probably where I'm going to be playing the um, Witching Hour Atmosphere Effects video. Um, the TV itself will be draped with like creepy cloth to make it not look so TV-ish. And then up here... We have uh, the Spirit Ball, which I haven't decided if she's going to stay there. It's a little too high for especially kids to see. I might just put her on top of the TV. Um, I just really wanted to use this table, but I'll find another use for it. And then, so they're going to make a turn here. And here is the rest of the witches. We have the Hanging Witch. I kind of put her there. She's just sitting there. I'm going to actually hang her in the corner. Um... The witch that pulls off her head. She's standing on a crate. Still have to do the spider webs. There is the big lots, big lots, big lots witch. I have the little witch background from Dollar Tree, which is actually pretty cool looking for for a dollar. Um, and then the Stitch Witch sisters down there. And then down here is the Kmart witch, and she too is going to get the couch treatment and she's going to go on that side. Um, the other thing that I'm still dealing with, oh, her. The uh, cauldron witch, or the uh, bewitching cauldron witch from um, Michael's. And she was the uh, very first witch that I uh, previewed way earlier this summer. And um, I, she's the one that I'm not a big fan of the, the cauldron itself. And so um, 
she's actually going to go behind this big black thing. And so her head's going to pop up over there. And she's not on sensor, so she's just going to kind of be going up and down, up and down all night long. She just pops up, says Happy Halloween, goes back down. And then let me grab her hat. And before, before she pops up, this is pretty much all you're going to see. And then from there, she's going to, you know, pop out. And this black piece here is nothing more than just an old uh, vinyl futon that I just put upright. But it kind of gave, gave like a cool effect of like a, a corner piece. And it, it, it made a nice black background that I could also put um, spiderwebs on. So, and that hall right there is going to be the... Um, Still don't know if I'm going to have time to do a drop-down panel. Probably not, but it'll still be a, an actor scare. However, um, however it's done. So, it's been a work in progress, but this is, so far, the Haunted House slash Hall of Witches uh, room. Uh, still have to tackle two more th three more themes. Um, but, you know, I think... Be okay. Still have more than a week, and we have all weekend, and um, so yeah. This is a this is a lot of fun, you guys. I mean, I don't know if you guys do it by yourself, um, but when you are kind of just like left to your own devices and you just do whatever. I mean, yes, it'd be it would be awesome to have help, and trust me, I will be having help this weekend. But when you're doing it by yourself, you just have like endless. Uh, possibilities for creativity and it's so so much fun so anyway if you like what you're seeing please like comment and subscribe and as always happy haunting